Hey, what's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about something that has come to my attention. A lot of people don't use the most useful and one of the best features in GBA for iOS 2.0, which is Dropbox Sync. Now, what Dropbox Sync allows you to do is upload your saves, save states, and cheat codes to Dropbox so that they can be used at a later date. So that means if you ever use another device to play GBA for iOS, you still have your saves and all that good jazz. You don't have your games, but you can easily download those again. Now this can become a very useful features for people that have multiple devices or a very awesome backup for people that lose their iOS device or perhaps delete GBA for iOS 2.0 or even lose their data somehow. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to activate Dropbox Sync because I believe it's one of the best features in GBA for iOS 2.0 and everyone should be using it. Alright, so setting up Dropbox Sync is actually very simple, but one of the first things that you're going to need is the Dropbox application, which you can get on the App Store, and I'm sure you all know how to do that. So you also will need a Dropbox account. You can either sign up by swiping all the way to the side, or just log in if you already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. If you don't have an account, just sign up and then log in, or if you do have an account, just go ahead and log in. Now, whichever Dropbox account, username, and password you decide to use, please make sure to remember this because whenever you input it into another device, you will need to use the same Dropbox account as well as you will need to remember this to input it in GBA for iOS. Anyways, once you sign in, that's basically all you have to do. Now, once, now that we're signed in, we can go home and back into our GBA for iOS 2.0 application. So from here, we're going to go into the settings, scroll down and find Dropbox Sync. Go ahead and click on that and turn it on. Now, once it's on, it'll take you back to Dropbox and it'll say, would you like to allow Dropbox to make a folder? Go ahead and click allow. Um, for some reason, it didn't work for me the first time. If this happens to you, just go ahead and try again, turn that slider back on and then do the same steps that we just did by clicking allow. So once you click allow, it'll take you back to GBA for iOS 2.0 and you'll know that it worked because the it'll be on and you'll have your Dropbox account there. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my GBA for iOS 2.0 application and I'm gonna go ahead and get a game and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and downloaded a game that I know I have a save state under Dropbox Sync so I can show you how it syncs it. So you'll know it's syncing because at the bottom you'll see that purple tab and it says that it's syncing your data. Note that you can't rename a game or do any other options besides play games and go into your settings while it's syncing because you do not want to interrupt that. So once the sync is complete, I'm going to go ahead and open my Pokemon Red version which I do know I have a save state for. So I'm going to go ahead and load a state and as you can see that save state that I had before on my iPhone is now there and I can go ahead and click on it and my save state has now transferred to my iPad from my iPhone. And now as I mentioned earlier, this is extremely useful whether you're playing on multiple iOS devices and want to continue through one playthrough or if you only have one device and would like to back up your saves and save states. Now this all happens automatically once you sync Dropbox. So it's not like it's a tedious task at all. So all you have to do is follow the simple steps and your games will always be synced to Dropbox as long as you don't turn Dropbox Sync off. Thanks for watching and remember only you can prevent lost save data. <laughs> Besides that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and if you want to take a step further, you can subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I release an awesome video like this one. Or if you're interested in watching some more videos, you can click on the ones on the screen to watch them or follow the link in the description. They're both great videos and I recommend that you do watch them. Besides that, thank you for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.